cut your hair, man. You look different. Do I look better or worse? Oh, you look cute. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, man. And he's not as big as I uh, expected him to be. You know what? It's like Dwayze in that movie, you know. You know, geez, you, you, you're not that big. You know, piss me off and watch me grow. <laughs> you know, just, but Robin, I love you. I've well, been a big you. fan of you. Uh, I'm a big fan. Thanks, of you. Rowdy. God bless you. I'm you a, still going by Rowdy or no? Rod, uh, Rod, Rowdy. You know, the Rowdy was just, I never, nothing was premeditated in my career. I didn't come up with a name. I came fifth in the world playing the bagpipes. First time I fought professionally, the pipe band played me in the ring and my first name is Roderick. The announcer just knew that. He didn't know I was a substitute. He said, ladies and gentlemen, here comes uh, Roddy the the Piper. And the the just got dropped. <laughs> and uh, but, but you, you in your new book, you talk about Vince McMahon in not a flattering way. Yeah, I love to hate him. Uh, <laughs> you hate him? Uh, no, why, I, don't, why don't? I don't hate him. I don't hate him. Wait, so let me, wait, let me read Listen, to you what you say. You, yeah, you talk you to me about this. Okay. The following are quotes from Roddy on Vince McMahon and okay. the state of wrestling. All right. I want to get wrestling back on track. What Vince McMahon forgets is he didn't make wrestling. His dad did. Mm -hmm. And that's true. His father started the whole you know, yes. wrestling business. I think maybe even his grandfather. Right. So what is it that he's doing wrong? What do you mean get back to... You know, uh, I don't, I'm not a purist. Right. I have kids. I love my kids. That's why I live for them. So I turn on the wrestling, and he's got the Vince McMahon Kiss My Ass Club. And as he pulls the back of his pants down, he wiggles his bum cheeks, and he says, Look... My ass even does tricks. I thought to myself, oh, I've known that for 30 years. <laughs> this guy. Well, and then, you know, the thing with, no, it's true what they're doing to is these it, guys. So you hate the fact. Okay. Uh, but, but isn't the WWF it. always about theatrics and isn't it about shocking and isn't it about, uh, like, but you're saying the storylines used it's, to be better, more okay. broad? No, first of all, there were no storylines. I've never had a storyline in my life. You've never handed down. a script when you were a wrestler? There's one time in the WCW. A referee came with a fax to me and said, you get into the ring, the referee calls us together, he gives instructions, and rings the bell. What the hell did you think was going to happen? Yeah, Until it. the bell rings, I can't make no money. But that was the only script that's, that you got. I threw it back at the guy. No, you know the art of wrestling is... Uh, yeah, but take, you always knew ahead of time yeah, who you, would win no, and stuff. The only thing right. that was known was they wanted a common ending whatever right. that was how you got there that's the magic of the rest that was up to you to be spontaneous yeah that's where the improv comes there's too much scripting and too much acting absolutely wrestling you know uh, as a new york said to me when i did they live uh, have you ever thought wrestling was acting you're wrong yeah now why don't oh, you no, start no, your no. own wrestling uh, what happened to okay. you i mean you were b big in the <laughs> oh, what happened yeah to i me? mean yeah, you were doing you your go? own show you had you had you were you were like the kiner's corner of wrestling <laughs> Ah! What happened? What, what happened? Yeah, Was there I'll a falling you, out? No, I'll tell you what. Um, when WrestleMania three in the Silverdome, 93,000 people, uh, John Carpenter asked me to do the movie They Live. And Vince McMahon Jr. got mad at me because he said, I'll have another movie for you in four weeks. I said, not with John Carpenter directing it. Right. So he sent a message via my lawyer that Hulk Hogan and Vince McMahon are the only true blue WWFers. The falling out really occurred when you got offered your movie yes, and sir. Vince said to you, don't do the movie, I'll put you in a movie. Yes, sir. Because you didn't comply with that, yes, sir. you I fell out of it. favor. Exactly. And so therefore you become persona non grata, you can't come I back can't, to the WWF. Nah, go away, you know, uh, leave at your own chosen speed, but do a faster run. Did you say to Vince, listen Vince, I, I just want to do the film, I God love the WWF, I, I want to talk rationally here, I don't want to be out, but he would not hear you? Yes, and also two or three days ago, I FedExed a book to Vince, and as nice a letter as I could put saying this to him, capsulized, Vince, I don't want anything from you. Your league, it's, you're way off. I got to make it real plain, plain that I was the sickest of them all. Okay. You seem like a crazy guy, uh, <laughs> quite frankly. No. I don't think it's an act with you. I don't think you took your medication today. No. No. I think no. you're sick. Are you on any medication? Do you have to no. take medicine? No. 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 You're not going to no. take medicine. No, I've done that one, too. Right, 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 right. I remember there was a steroid uh, investigation. <laughs> and I, you know, I you uh, admit to taking steroids, right? Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course I did. Yeah. yeah. I don't have any problem with it. I, I don't know. You know, one of the things the government used to do in those steroid things is testosterone. They would they put, this does not not enhance athletic ability. This right. is your government jerking with the kids. Right. Well, we knew it did. So right away, that discredited anything the government ever said. Right. Then they took that label off it, and so they're still trying to so, show, you know, 
does it or does it not? Well, now they say it does, so quit messing with it. Yeah, you should be able to take it if it doesn't enhance <laughs> athletic ability. No, no, well, depending if you can't get a heart on or not, you right. know, with testosterone. Did, did it stop you from getting mm-hmm. aroused? Uh, no, it, it, you know, I gave me four kids. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, how did testosterone it, stop you from when you ta- you, when, you, yeah. when you took steroids, did your nuts get smaller? After the cycle goes through a six-week cycle and the, ster- the uh, uh, synthetic wears off, your nuts get smaller, and you got to take a thing called granata- granatotol. I think it's called. It's which is that like a female hormone which balances things back. Right. Good and, lord. Uh, it's a, it's, yeah, it's tricky a chemistry. It. And you, You're, I could even see in your wrist. You broke your wrist. You won't have it fixed because they say you won't be able to play the bagpipes again. How'd you know that? Man? I read your book. Uh, you did, man. Yeah. Honest to God, if anybody's going to give me an honest guy. what'd you think? It's really honest. It's good. You know, I did it from my memory and from my heart. So the point is. When it comes to wrestling, Vince McMahon, you'd like to see a loosening up of the strings where every word isn't scripted, where where Vince isn't in charge of everything. I told you I sent Vince a book, and in the note it says basically this. Clean up the sexual part, and I'll get you right back on track with the wrestling. I don't have no problem with you. If you don't, then I officially declare that wrestling is dead. <laughs> 